What's going on YouTube? What's going on world? This is your boy Crisis20 and I wanted to give a product review slash tutorial on this product right here I have. I have a I have a Aver Media. Um, it's basically what you see here is the HD DVR basically it's a recorder capture card in HD as you can plainly see. You can pretty much do anything anything you would like actually in real time and it records very well um, I've used this product on a couple of uh, my videos that you guys have been seeing lately now uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on what I use on what type of uh, setup I have on how I get my my videos to play in such clarity so I'm going to explain that and also explain how to get this piece of soft, I mean hardware, into your PC and to start recording console gaming. All right, so here we go. All right, so we got the box here. If you want to look around in it, look on the back. This is what the back look like. Um, I got this product from online. Um, it's pretty much a buck and some change. I want to say maybe past the buck 10 or something like that maybe a little bit lower um but you're it's definitely going to be past 100 so definitely keep that in mind uh it's windows 7 compatible and also windows vista all right you got your specs right here so you got the hdmi so you got the component got the composite got the s video and it got left and right audio so it pretty much comes with everything that you guys need to get you started recording. So as I open this box up, let's open this bad boy up. All right. So you have here your capture card. All right. This is your capture card. Now, as you can see closely here, there's one for HDMI to the left and there's one for AVN. Now, the AVN is this piece right here this is your AVN and it also comes with all your cables component composite S video and your audio and your audio um, with each set with the component and the composite the black is where you want is where you would stick your video uh, where you would want to connect your video and your See, there's black and there's blue, and the blue is for the audio. So, to just so things won't get confused, they split it up here. They put it in a little black little bundle right here to, to separate HD from regular from regular composite. So, your composite, you have you have your audio which is the white and red and you have your yellow which is your video also it comes with the S video alright you have your S video alright so there you go and now you have your HD part which is your component your component will come with the usual the red where is it at? the red green and blue where so you plug it in there and it also comes with your audio all right so that's your audio right there so that's pretty much your setup um now if you have a long hdmi or your pc's right next to your your pc's right next to your console then this will be the setup for you because this is how i'm doing it um they also have another faceplate just in case your pc isn't you know the standard length they also have this here too so you can change your faceplate anytime you want and that's how you change it unscrewing these two and replacing it so this is the capture card and also it comes with the warranty and it comes with a CD to help you install it but I already know how to do everything so I don't need to do it so let's get down to phase two okay so as you can see here this is my PC alright uh, so now I'm going to set it up so this takes this um, part right here 
all right the PCI slot in your um, motherboard so I created an opening already for that slot so just it's an easy one to put in all right just simple drop it in till it clicks and then simply just take the screw just take the screw and screw it in and that's it and pretty much turn on the PC and uh, it should recognize the hardware and then we'll take it to step three alright so after you insert it in properly this is what the back of your PC is going to look like now if you have an HDMI cable it will have the same end like this it will have the same end and you could stick it in the HDMI slot here but I'm using my component because my Xbox is hooked up um, component wise so uh, I'm gonna hook it up in the AV so for me I got it hooked up for AV now what I also used I used a composite converter now I wanted to set up the Xbox to record on the PC and while it's recording on the PC I can um, actually watch um, what I'm recording or what I'm playing on the TV so I had to get a converter so let's move on to the next step so here is my component splitter that I have here alright it splits into two connections one to the TV one to the actual uh, AV, the AVR the AVR media card alright so I'm not too much worried about audio because I have a headset for my 360 so I have a um, I have a a, t a Turtle Beach. Sorry, I have a Turtle Beach headset, so all the sound is in my headset. So I really don't need audio. But for those of you that need audio on your TV and need audio for the PC, go ahead and try to get a splitter with video and audio. But other than that, this is for my purposes only. All I needed was video, and at the other end, you see the video. Um, the video inputs the com the component inputs here so now I'm going to put this into the uh, you could put this wherever you want um, I also you also need another set of component cables same cables same HD cables the the blue green and red all right you're gonna need another set of those to make this work because one end one end is gonna go to the TV the other end is gonna go to the a the Aver media card all right so let's set this bad boy up this is the Xbox 360 this is the extra component cables that I bought all right so um these are the extra component cables now as I said remember one slot is gonna go into make sure you match the colors up uh, blue is blue and red is red All right so there you go it's gonna look like that and then this right now or this this set of cables are hooked up to my TV this is for the Xbox and then you have this sound part here for my headset so this is the reason why I don't need to have a splitter with audio because all my audio for the 360 I can hear I mean I mean you can hear it on your PC obviously but I can hear it you know within my headset itself so I attached the two pieces here for the audio and then this is my 360 so that way I'll get sound in my headset and I wouldn't really need sound on a TV to hear so I really don't need it so for me this this type of setup is fine so again your your video on the Xbox is gonna be from here so match up the colors again and then boom there you go now you can see from your TV and you can see the same type of video feed with the um, with the Xbox as well on your PC now since these two are hooked up this other end would obviously go to 
the AV or media card. So let's set it up. Okay, so as you can see, this is the end here of the splitter. And also, this is the end. That's the AVR media card. So all I need is just the HD slots here. Oh, yeah. okay. So all I need is just the HD. So got the video, right? So you want to get all your black cables assorted. And then let's hook up. Oh, cut this. So let's hook up all the video parts. So green is green, blue is blue, and red is red. All right, so there goes your component. Sorry, uh, your composite cables. That's it right there. Now, for your audio, for, for you to get audio inside your PC, you're gonna need the blue. So now we're gonna take these and set it up. So as you can see, you just match up the colors, white with white and red with red. And that's how you get your audio and your video into your AV or media card. Now you just put in the CD and this was gonna come up. You just install Media Center and it installs everything. I already have this installed so I'm not going to install it again. Um, so that being said, uh, so it's going to install this for you and also the driver for it so that it will connect. And pretty much this is the setup. This is how everything is set up here. Um, you have the capture, you have your video, you got your music, you can play music in the background. I haven't tested anything out yet. Um, I'm pretty new at it. All I know, all I really do is just hit capture and it sets up my Xbox. So I'm going to turn on my Xbox right now, which is the component cables and it should pop up now. See, there you go. It popped up. Now. Um, you have your record here. You could take pictures, make take a snapshot. You got picture and picture here. If you have two different devices, say for instance, you have your HDMI uh, in one slot, and then you have another, uh, then you have another one in component. You can do picture and picture and put it within itself. All right, so. I mean there's different stuff and then this is basically to record on your actual hard drive alright this records on your hard drive so that is how you record from your console to your PC and then you can post it on YouTube do whatever you want so that is how you set it up for your Aver Media alright just make sure you hit live blow it up big and that's it guys you are you're in there just record whatever you want and that is my setup that is how I set it up guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment for any if you have any additional feedback or any other questions that you have to uh, ask me so until next time I catch you guys at another tutorial this is your boy crisis 20 and I'll see you later peace